officer was attacked on the street, fighting for his life when they fired their gun. And the people who witnessed that shooting say that the man tried to take the officer's gun. Yeah, and the whole incident was caught on camera. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is live with this story. And Brian, what do we know about this guy? Well, even though they haven't released his name yet, actually, we are learning more about this man who was shot to death by officers. He had just moved in up the street here at the end of this alley on the next block up. Witnesses saw him leaving, walking down this alley when he arrived here on Glenway and to this spot where he was shot to death. It's a struggle caught on video. And he started wailing on the cop, kicking him, hitting him. It ends with seven shots from an officer's weapon, taking nine seconds. <laughs> Witnesses say it all unfolded here on Glenway. Man attacked the officer. One witness says the man was shot with a taser before the gunfire with no effect. And it seems like nothing what he did stop this guy from trying to almost kill this officer. Now we're learning more about the man who was shot by the officer. He lives less than 100 yards from where he died. I've known him on and off for years, all my life since we was kids. But I never Brian McAlvin know. says the man moved into the same halfway house where he lives just two days ago. He moved in, and nobody really got to talk to him. He just walked out the house and within four minutes he was shot. Like, really don't know what happened. The one settling for you and everybody who lives here, though. Right. Uh, I mean, he didn't make no threats or, or any, nobody. He wasn't fighting with nobody in the house or anything. Like, he just left, walked down the alley. We seen him, and then boom, he was shot. Yeah, now that same witness said he was walking very strange as he made his way down this alley, but he didn't threaten anyone at the house where he had been. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Now, Brian, what do we know about the man's background? Well, we know he had a, an adopted family that lived uh, a little farther south in Kentucky. He had a biological family. Uh, some of them lived here closer to Covington and Cincinnati. And we do know that he recently served a prison term and just got out not long ago. Ashley? Brian Hamrick, live for us tonight. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, another.